Hey, I'm Roland. This is Phil. So in our quest to make sure that you are the pit boss of your backyard, this is Two Zone Grilling. Let's go ahead and get some meat on this grill. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and season up a steak. I've got a New York strip here. We're gonna okay. keep it nice and simple. Mm. Salt and pepper. Don't forget, season. Now, I always like put my salt on, just like you're doing like right before, but some people like want to salt it too early. I think that's a mistake. What do you think? And, you know, I go up to about two hours ahead of time. I don't go overnight. I mean, I know some people go nah, overnight. No, I think it dries it out. And you got to have salt for meat because, oh. I mean, it's just, it's boring as hell. Salt brings out the actual flavor in anything. So wait, okay, wait, you got chicken wings in here, okay? I see you've got like first and second joint chicken wings. As, wait, where did you get this? This looks like it's from a store. I actually package this myself and marinated this myself. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do you have a vacuum sealer in your house? I have a vacuum sealer. Doesn't oh, everybody okay, have a vacuum okay, sealer? Okay. Oh. Phil's got a vacuum sealer in his house, okay? All right, I'm sure everybody here, like our entire audience has that. So, okay, well, what are we gonna do with this? So, real quick, when you vacuum seal, put the marinade at the bottom, put the protein on top of it, yep. then pull your seal, and then sit there and massage it for about five to six minutes. Most people don't know that little trick. That is an extremely important trick. It gets the marinade into the muscle. Okay, a lot of people don't marinate their chicken wings first. They cook them off and then they toss them, obviously, but how long do you wanna marinate these for? I like to marinate them for about 16 to 20 hours. Okay. So how long do you put these on for? I want to go to 160 degrees. Okay, internal probably, temp. Which is going to take about 15 what, minutes per side. What do you think the surface temp is of the grill right now? Surface temp on this side is yep. probably about 300 degrees. About 300 degrees, okay. Yes. Are you cooking the wings, are you cooking the steak at the same temp? No, I'm cooking them at different temperatures because I'm using that indirect and direct heat, two zones. This zone is about 700 degrees. Okay. And this zone is about three to 400 degrees. Okay, so I can see you've got more charcoal that's higher up, closer to the steak, and where it's a, it's a, it's much cooler and, and there's less fire uh, below the below the chicken. Absolutely. So I mean, wouldn't you say that fire control and temperature control is like one of the ways that people screw up backyard grilling the most? Oh, all the time. I mean, they, a lot of times with chicken, people try to cook it too fast. Chicken has to be slow. And right. You want to grill it slow. You want to let that skin render out all that right. fat. That's where the flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know, and again, that skin is nice and crispy. If it's rubbery or burnt, it's not really good barbecue. And, chicken. and I mean, Phil, oh sh, this is smelling good. So let me ask you, like, one of the ways is like those beautiful grill marks, and some people flip it too much and they like <laughs> that up. How long should you leave it on one side versus the other side? to uh, get it to a perfect medium rare. Really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch the flame that's down at the bottom. Yep. I, get, I don't want that because I'm rendering fat out. The flame's gonna start coming up closer to the steak. Yep. So maybe like two, three minutes to maybe four minutes maximum. Let's do the restaurant temp, okay? So you want a perfect medium rare, okay? It's where- So I like, to, this is the way I like to do it. So it's rare, medium rare, medium, well done. Rare is your index okay, finger. Okay, okay. And you're so, gonna push right here. Okay, so this one here, my favorite finger, that one is, rare. that right there is medium rare. That's medium rare. Okay, that's, so that's. That's your favorite finger. Okay, okay, favorite that's, that is my favorite finger. Phil, that's my favorite finger, yeah, okay? We're not gonna talk about why. But like, okay, so that's my favorite finger. So you want a medium rare right there. So yeah. you take your middle finger, your thumb, and put it right there, and that's it, okay? Yeah. And, for all and so you if people your steak like, feels like that, you do, uh, steak, back and forth, you yeah. got it. And then for all the people with thermometers, you're talking about 130, 135 degrees about that middle finger temperature. Well, well, I'll tell you what, before we stop rolling here and we start eating these bad boys, why don't you make sure that you join us right here on this channel and we will see you pit bosses later. For more barbecue content, like and share this video and ring the bell. You'll get notifications when the new video appears. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and barbecueathome.com.